speak the truth and tell you the motive. Tell you about call the heart. But let me tell Honorable Kamala Prasad Bissessa and her handlers. If there is anybody in this country who knows about Call the Heart, it is me. If anybody in this country can talk about Call the Heart, it is me. And I spoke about Call the Heart from a PNM cabinet. I was a member of a PNM cabinet. And when I saw a PNM cabinet not living up to the fundamental principles of morality in public affairs, I took issue with that. And unlike those who fell in love with office, or who have fallen in love with office, or who are in love with office, when the Prime Minister shook my hand and told me he will advise the President to revoke my appointment, I simply said thank you very much for the opportunity to have served in your cabinet. And I called my wife and I said, darling, I'm off to the back benches. Because I'm not in love with office. I'm in love with service to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. And God knows I paid my views. So what is the story we call the heart and you up? This country has about 55 state enterprises. Unicop was one. One. And call the heart and Unicop was a management issue. I took issue with how Unicop was being managed. I took issue with how the chairman was managing Unicop. And I took issue with the reign that the Prime Minister gave him to manage state affairs. Specific to Unicot and management. And how was that dealt with? There was a commission of inquiry into the behavior of Unicot. We are civilized people. In a democratic society, if information comes forward that all is not well in a state enterprise, you have an inquiry and people come before there and they are cross-examined and they have to bring documents and the inquirers will do a report and tell the country what has gone on there and they make recommendations for how it should be dealt with. And the off-commission did just that and put a recommendation forward, 92 recommendations I think there are, of all kinds. And the government changed right then and there because that had the effect of making the PLM less popular than the PLM should have been. And we have no problem with that. We must earn your trust and earn our keep. So the new government comes into office. It falls to them to carry out the recommendations of the off commission of inquiry. But I can tell you, this issue of call the heart and the management exercise pales into insignificance against an action where a cabinet allowed itself to use the parliament and use the, cab use the cabinet and the president's office to allow people to walk free from the court. And tonight you want to go and have all the television stations, all of them blocked up to go and talk about Call the Heart and Patrick Manning. But in case they haven't noticed, Patrick Manning is at home recuperating and I wish him well. The PNM has a new leader and that leader is not looking back and looking ahead. And in case they haven't understood, when the PNM as a party as a general council, as members in the street, when they saw what happened to a PNM government in full public view, the party took action. Not like what's happening now, where the party is defending wrongdoing. The party removed one leader and replaced that leader with another leader who has the moral authority to tell this country corruption has no place in government in this country. My record is there for all to see. So I have to listen to your money being spent on advertisements asking about my moral authority to speak about their conduct. I earn the moral authority to say that if you are corrupt, you should not be allowed to manage the business of Trinidad and Tobago. I earn that right.
So those fool, fool ads on the papers. Sure. That is for you and call the heart. I passed that long it's time. Long time, man. And I heard tonight the Attorney General, the man who is looking for some kind of excuse.